Hey, and what is going on, everybody? Welcome to an American Truck Simulator Interstate Freight coming at you here with the uh, Kenworth W900, and we got the double reefers here uh, on it. We'll see if we get some roadway. We'll see if we get some doubles today. We'll see if this truck can pull them. Uh, we'll just put we'll put all that in the cars. We got lots of new mods today. I actually put it on there that we had a lot of new cargo mods, so we've got a lot of new additive things. Uh, inside the mix for today so we'll see exactly what we get i've got train containers in there well, a couple of those guys had wanted that in there in as well uh, so we've got containers we've got double trailers we've got gosh i'm going to say we've got double reefers we've got double containers quadruple containers uh, we saw those yesterday, so we've got added in just literally as much as we possibly could into the mix so hopefully uh, this gives us a good chance uh, so let me start off real quick here let me throw some pleasantries out to everybody here that's in stream. So if you want a good shout out, go ahead and throw me a hey in chat. Let's see what's going on here. Evil Clown, 333. What's up, man? Hope you're doing good, Chuck. Always good to see you. Chevy Man, what is up? Blue Time Par 6, I emailed you there, bro. So I uh, hope you get that. Uh, who else we got? Is that Caden Cooksey? What's up, man? Chris, good to see you guys. Nathan, uh, always great to see you guys. Thanks for coming out and supporting here, me, uh, as we uh, branch into ATS. It's, it's a lot of fun meeting a lot of new guys, and uh, yeah, it's just just fun all, all around. So what's up, Dalton? How are you, man? Matthew Gould, how are you? Ty Glavich, what's up, man? It's been a little while, so thanks for uh, stopping back in. Walter Moss, always great to see you, buddy. Howdy. Hope you're doing well. Beautiful W900. Thank you, man. We're in the Hunt Trucking. So this is, uh, I think, is a real uh, a real skin for a truck that someone redid. But I saw it, and I loved it. And I was like, man, it's classic. Uh, it looks good. So, yes, Denzel Campbell. What's up? BTS Chaos. Um, that's no problem, man. Thanks for coming in staying. Hey, anyway, Frank Deer, what's up? Julio Chris Pinto, man. What's up, man? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Blue type, yes. Good deal, man. Omar Ramos. That's one of the view maps. So what they're going to up in together with coast to coast. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a video on that. There's two different ways, man. There's there's another uh, there is another Viva Mexico map that is compatible with coast to coast. Uh, let's get into the stream and uh, and I'll see if I can't. We'll see if we can't cover that a little bit uh, as we talk about my map and what we're doing here versus what we're doing outside of that. I don't mind kind of covering a few of those in there. So uh, first person is. <laughs> said my last name right all right man well good deal I, I i get a lot of practice saying names so uh i don't always get it right but i always attempt to give a little personal touch to everybody uh you know some sometimes the names are easier than others and that's okay there you go man <laughs> gonna be fighting on a great guy that's all right no problem there walter uh just a little fyi there for everybody that has wanted to see some farm sim we're going to be featuring some farm sim uh here this weekend so we're starting to work out plans starting to get some things going we've got maps picked out we're starting to figure out exactly how we're going to put together uh our farm and, and this is actually i think you guys are going to enjoy this but it's going to be more of a progression farm than you've seen from me uh, we're not really going to mod in uh, a bunch of stuff in there we're going to start from the kind of the beginning and we're just going to continually build and build and build uh for our uh, for our, our our realistic actually let me turn some sounds off here hang on just a second I saw these and I was like, oh boy, I need to turn these off. Just in case someone sends me a message, I don't want that uh, stuff constantly coming in through the, uh, coming in through here. So, all right, let's do that and that. All right, so there we go. Um, so we'll, uh, uh, back, back to thinking here. Um, so we'll do farm sim, and we're actually going to do a progressive type map. So you guys are going to see the build of the map from week to week to week uh, as we feature little mini series focused on different aspects of what we're trying to do, whether that be animals, moving into other things. So if you are a huge fan there of farm sim, uh, rest assured this weekend you guys are going to get your FTG farm sim fix. Uh, we are going to return back to the full tilled farms. That's going to be called FTF. So FTF with FTG, maybe something like that. I have no, uh, honestly, no clue. Optic Assassin, what's up, man? Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate the throw out there. Brandon Piner, what's up? You've not missed anything. We've literally just been sitting here in the park lot. I've been running my mouth, and y'all guys have been patiently waiting for a stream. So thank you for that. WW Gaming, uh, can you do multiplayer? We'll see about multiplayer. I just enjoy the maps, and I enjoy doing these little mini series focusing on different things. So uh, if I feel like there's enough of a drive to it, then we might see if we can't run us up a little mini, uh, a little mini convoy or something. See if we can't do a little something just to plug in. And heck, even though I might just do multiplayer, invite you guys on at a certain time. Uh, and let's just go hang out and have fun uh, and go drive a few places and, and, and have a little bit of fun. It's always hard sometimes doing a multiplayer from that. So <laughs> what's up, Benson85? Thank you, man. 
<laughs> have you autograph? Yeah. 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 No, man. You can't have my autograph. Thank you for your support there, Ben. Always appreciate it, my brother. Uh, Taylor, is that bunting? Hey, nice game for the W. Yes. Happy about FS17. Thank you. The I am too. Dimitri the Great. Uh, what is up, Brian? What is going on? Don't run you enough to my stream. Could you join me, B and A, B and D Holland. I'll certainly look at it, man. Certainly will. Yes, I do. There, Julio. No problem, man. Uh, you can use mods. Uh, yeah, multiplayer. I don't think you can on multiplayer. It's all still basic for using truckers MP. Connor, what's up? Uh, super sleeper make things harder. Yeah. Well, I at least got the mid-range hauler here, so it does have the extended uh, chassis on it, which does make this a little bit hauler. But uh, we've got a double reefers here behind us. I was trying to find some double roadways out. Let's look at the map real quick as we're uh, so we left off here yesterday in Winnemucca, and uh, our whole idea here, interstate freight, is dealing with anything and everything that is just freight from uh, using the interstates, using the roads. And what I'm trying to do is see as much of the scenery as we can. We've done uh, Mexico Caterpillar Crawl, our first episode series on the on the playlist there, uh, dealt with everything on the, the Yucatan, so everything all the way down to Cabo back up, and then we uh, the Mexico Mayhem dealt with all the way down to Maz uh, Mazatlan. Uh, and then back up into here. Now we still haven't seen a lot of these, uh, a lot of these over here like Caborca and Puerto uh, Penasco. So none of these over here have actually been now done. So now 2.4 is going to deal with Durango. So we'll definitely go back down to Mexico once 2.4 drops, uh, as long as it meshes with Project West. So we still got a lot here that we have not seen. And also a lot here. So I wanted to see these uh, as much as I could. And I missed, if we can, I want to go down by Reno because we missed our big exit up to, uh, we missed our big exit up to the Yosemite National Park. So uh, I, I want to say that was somewhere up here once we missed it, in, somewhere in Reno. So, but anyway, I want to try to come back and, and at least see a few more cities in these. Maybe get up here because uh, a couple of the map packs that I have have Leightonville is new, uh, McDermott, Jackpot, and one of these down here, a Total Pie has been reworked. So maybe if we can see a few of these spots, come back down, hit Total Pie, and then come back over to San Francisco. I want to show you guys some of the Project West and some of this upper NorCal area here on California. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get let's get rolling with it. What's up, Nathan Marino? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. This game is awesome. I'm loving it, man. I am loving it. Dalton does say, Dalton says, oh, you can on Steam. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're getting at, man. Uh, we're not doing Discord. I've got a link down there to TeamSpeak. That is with Rat Pack. Uh, I'm available most of the time. Sometimes, you know, we're doing a live stream or I'm prepping or something. You know, I'm not I'm not out in the, just the general room. So come down there. Someone will let you in and uh, just tell them FTG sent you and you're more than welcome. There's tons of people too here to plug in as well besides just me. Uh, we have a slew of people in here to play games and a lot of really, really, really cool guys in here. So it's a great community. If you're looking for someone to plug in, please consider doing that. Um, so, all right, let's crank things up. So we're rolling with the C15 straight piped uh, here. This is an engine mod. It's part of the uh, that 2.2.6 uh, 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 what you might call it 2.6 uh, engine pack that I was telling you about. Uh, and by the way, well, let me throw this out there really quick too. If you're interested in seeing how you install all of this mapping here, uh, and this may fix your problem. Whoever was looking at the 2.3 update with Mexico working with coast to coast. I have yet to upload the video. It's finished. I just haven't uploaded because I want to give some of these videos time to just breathe on YouTube a little bit. Um, uh, but I do actually talk about there's two different set map types. One is compatible with Coast to Coast and one is compatible with Project West. And they're very clear in their directive. Uh, but actually, if you go to that video, so in the link, their description there, there is a video link. Hit that link. It's going to take you to how to install all of these maps, exactly the ordering, exactly uh, all the mods listing, exactly all of the mods uh, links to get everything in and get it all running in your system so that you can enjoy the same map here that we are in live stream so uh should be good what's up uh, there michael lee how you doing man go to mexico we definitely will be going back down to mexico what's up stephen more yo awesome there brian i'll certainly check it out so let's uh, always like running with that right mirror uh, at least especially when i'm running doubles uh and let's uh let's go ahead and minimize that down a little bit so it's pretty relatively uh, short haul. So just uh, just to let you know, we're going to actually be stopping here in Elko. So not gonna, we're going to pick something up else down here, uh, and then we'll see. I really want to go up to Jackpot, uh, and I'm even thinking like if we got a turnaround part, 
Okay, we do. We do have a turnaround. So let's let's just just for kicks and, and because I want to see some more scenery. This is a new area. Uh, let's just go to McDermott and uh, we'll make a lap and then coming down to Elko, we'll unlock these areas. So that way maybe we can pull some pretty cool cargo out of these uh, upper area mining areas. So now if sounds too loud and uh, you need me to back something off, let me know. But I'm kind of letting it rip tonight. So you guys are going to love the Jake break on this truck. We're running it. Uh, been to Canada in real life. No, actually, I'm already tell you right now, this is gonna be too loud. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be too loud for actually. You know, let me see if I can do this. Never mind. Hang on. Let's see if I can turn it down on my end. I think that makes it a lot quieter on you guys, don't it? All right. I'll, I'll cut it down a little bit through there. So, all right, here we go. And someone asked, uh, oh, Michael said not loud enough. Okay. Well, I'll try. I'll try not to scream. That's that's my that's my one thing because it's loud in my headphones. So, all right, there you go. It's all the way up. get on the main road here and then I'll, uh, I'll catch up here on chat as well so don't worry about that guys no need to spam the same questions I'll get to everybody I promise you all right so nice a beautiful scenery here in Winnemucca this has actually been a very pretty area it's not very big um, but we are now on our way on up to what is this? Uh, we're going to McDermott, I believe. That's where our first our first uh, lap is going to be. Then we'll then we'll be on our way to Elko. Uh, Elko is actually really good. I had to go up there just so I could unlock the city and get some cargo back to Winnemucca today. Uh, and whatever there for the first time, it was really pretty. So, uh, yes, yeah, so Taylor, I am using the G29 from Logitech. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the three of the floor, and we also have uh, the um, the six people from Logitech as well. So I uh, just uh, received confirmation today. So my SKRS shifter will be coming in to me. Uh, so that is exciting. I'm, I can't wait to get that thing out. So it basically you know, puts range, it puts split, puts high low and everything. And I can control it all with one hand. Uh, so that's going to be really nice. I'm looking forward to that. My ears ain't bleeding so it ain't loud enough. Okay. This is weird because it is like screaming in my ears, so I have to kind of pull one of them back just so uh, I don't wind up screaming into the microphone. Yeah, the Drake, yeah. Yeah, this this one is, uh, I love this truck. This is my favorite because with the realistic light mods or the realistic graphics mods, you can see how when I turn the lights off, you see this nice little glow on the inside of the, um, uh, uh, the, inside of the, the A pillar here, which is basically to the left of the cab uh, when you turn those lights off they're they're actually on top of the roof so they're shining through and you're seeing the last bit of illumination there um, so this is just like if you turn them off it's gonna go away and I love that I mean it's just it's, it's something small but it looks so realistic and so uh, encapsulating when you're looking at it so it's good uh, I'm not sure where bears at Nice, Dalton. Very cool. It's always nice to meet guys that do some of this stuff, especially some of the things that I sim. It's so nice to meet guys that actually do it in real life. Because, you know, I'm always looking for people that, uh, you know, I'm always looking for people that, 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 uh, that, that do this for, for a living. 
and it's nice to be able to kind of bounce the ideas that I have that I think I know what I'm talking about but it's always nice to be able to say hey is that how it works and someone can say yep that's exactly how it works so that's always a good thing That's scary, Chuck. That's scary, man. <laughs> uh, did I take the Snyder trailers out? Yes, I did. Um, they were just, uh, they were they were spawning too many. I think some of these trailers don't spawn enough. And then some of them are just, they just fill the jobs up. And I wanted to do more than just Snyder. Uh, so I took those out, especially for today's, because I want to support this this hunt, uh, hunt trucking, which I guess is a real, a real life, uh, it's a real life uh, company, a hauling company, so I wanted to support those, uh, which really, really, really good stuff. Really have uh, enjoyed this scenery, and I enjoy a lot of these liveries too that are got some real life characteristics to it. It's pretty cool. Now, what graphics card? I meant the 1080 Ti, so the 11 gigabyte. Uh, that's the one I'm using. Thank you there, Carlin. Uh, Colin. I don't know why I about said uh, Carlin the darling. Colin Ormiston, or Ormiston, thank you buddy for uh, riding, if, uh, riding shotgun with that dang gun, man. I'm, I am stumbling all over the worst tonight, so thank you for your subscription there, bud. Appreciate that. What's up, Chris? How are you? Hey, these uh, these, these uh, big trailers, so basically I figured out in this game, whenever you just decide to hop in for a double load, um, I had one reefer trailer that was like 33,000. And it came back and looked at it again. So I'm really running like 66,000, almost close to 70,000, which wasn't planned, uh, especially going up uh, into the, uh, the upper areas of uh, the mountains here. And we're actually on our way to McDermott, I believe is where we're at. So we'll come back down the hill uh, and then we'll continue our way over to Elko. But I wanted to at least come up here and see some of this because this is part of a newly reworked area here that I have as a download uh, with, uh, with my Project West setup here in uh, Viva, Mexico. Uh, what am I using to stream? I am using Game Show. Uh, Game Show is a, a great one. Um, it's, 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 it's taken a while for it to really kind of get off the ground. I kind of got into it a little bit early, but they're really, really, really catching up, doing some really good stuff with it. So I feel like it's, for the first time, it's, it's very stable now, which is great. Um, there's uh, McDermott. Thank you there, RJ. Appreciate the sub. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the crazy sport already. It is uh, great to see you. So this is cool. This is all added. This I don't believe this is in the regular map. So this is definitely cool to see, uh, see some new area down here. Yeah, you can see right there is where the road actually carries you into the next one, so that is cool. This is actually good, because I think we need to grab a nap. Now, whether or not we can grab a nap down here in uh, McDermott is going to be... That's uh, going down here and make a turn. They're the Sahin Casino, 25 cent slots, 24 hours, family, restaurant. It's a 24 hour <laughs> casino. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oh, there's a couple of containers coming out there. That's the uh, that's the single single double load there. All right, just making sure with it. There we go. We're good to go. Hey, what's up, Faze? How are you, man? Now good, Brian. It's a good one. I like it. Obviously, it runs anything I want to run. So the real, the real good one is when we really start branching into uh, to ETS. I mean, ETS, ETS. Oh my lord, God, man, I'm just, I'm just all over the place tonight. So I apologize for that. So those watching the streams, like, man, what's up with the FTG? I promise I'm not on drugs. I just have no idea what I'm, I'm wanting to say. I've got so many things. I think that are rushing up the top there. I feel like I gotta say them all, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, when I move back over to X Plane, that's when the uh, that's when the 1080 Ti is really going to shine. So, between that and the processing, that's going to be a big one. So, um, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and let's see what we get here. Uh, get back and load. Get a 
running start here before we hit this hill. I need every bit I got. Well, hey, thank you there, Colin. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad you uh, decided to stop by today. So great to see everybody. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy the content, obviously like the videos. And I say that, like the videos if you like it. I always like knowing what kind of content you guys want to keep up with and what you're really looking for. Um, and it's it's so great to finally you know find some stuff and find some sims. Oh boy. These these uh, these reefers, man, are. I've got a stacked engine in this truck as well, so this is a challenge though, changing gears, keeping all the lows and highs separate, uh, that uh, that definitely is, is, is a challenge. Oh, come on, one more way. There we go. I think we're still going to have to go back to... Uh, man, so let's look at it here. Good looking, uh, good looking trailer though. Good looking uh, skin here as we climb up the hill. Hunt Trucking, that is in Payne, Ohio. Even has the DOT numbers, that is pretty cool. Gross value weight uh, is well on the side, so uh, super, super good skin. So if you're looking forward, just put in Hunt in the workshop and it should probably pull it up for you. Yeah, the turbo is loud. Yeah, it is. That straight pipe too, man. That, that gurgle in the background. That there we go. Yeah, I'm just have the emergency flashers. I'll just turn everything on. Beacons, flashers, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, JP? Good to see you, man. So he has got him a brand new job. So you guys are going to get to see a lot more Chuck. He's going to be able to do some farming with us on the weekends and whenever else he can get out to do uh, a little bit of streaming. So it's going to be great being able to play again with Chuck. Uh, I'll never forget our first streams on Chillington. Uh, that was, uh, man, that was a lot of fun. Just trying to go through uh, setting up a first stream with the multiplayer. So it was a great experience and partially all that due to to Chuck being such a great, uh, great guy to work with there on uh, the live streams on on, uh, on PS4. So uh, yeah, y'all throw some congrats to him. He's going to be starting a brand new job that's going to offer him uh, some time to be able to get out here and uh, game with me a little bit, be on some live streams and just hang out. So throw some congrats to him. I'm good, Terrence. Thank you, buddy. Nice, Dalton. Nice man. Very, very cool. I'm a little bit jealous. I was I was talking about in the stream last night. Uh, it would be nice to uh, drive one of these. I don't think I could do it for a job, but it would be nice to drive one of these. Uh, drive it around town, spool it around, maybe pull a trailer or two, and then be like, okay, I'm good. What's up, Nathan? How are you, man? Having a birthday beer? Oh, no problem, man. It's never, never, uh, uh, never a day late for a birthday beer, man. And happy birthday, by the way. Here to Jake Break, there you go. Love it, sounds good. Hey, what's up, Monko? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. There's our uh, get some sleep alarm. That is, uh, if you're looking forward, that is the Qualcomm sounds. Just make sure that's uh, high on your priority list. And 
that just replaces the annoying yawning sound. Got a long line of traffic behind us, good lordy. Uh, I am doing good, Nathan. Thanks for asking, man. Great to see everybody. A lot of new faces uh, in the stream tonight as well. There's a lot of uh, a lot of old faces, so I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm getting to know some of you guys, too, that have kind of come into this ATS. And maybe farm sim's not your thing, and that's fine, but it's, I'm so glad that uh, I'm able to meet some new guys here with ATS. So uh, uh, thanks to all of you for your crazy amount of support here, and the subscriptions, and just everything else you're throwing my way, and uh, especially chat. If you're new, please feel free to throw something down here in chat. You're more than welcome to. Uh, it's a great group of guys. We've got great mods here as well, so um, no, don't, don't worry about that. Just keep it respectful. We don't really have any kind of huge amount of rules here. Just keep it professional. Keep it respectful for everybody, uh, and we'll be all good in here. So, welcome. All right, let's see. Where's my uh, turn off? Here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead while I'm at it, since we need to rest. We're already going to be late, so let's just go ahead and get our nap here. And then it's going to be, uh... Just trying to take the front end of that truck off. Um, let's see, you know what? Uh, let's do this. Get all the trailers out of the main road, and let's go ahead and drop the trailer here. Go ahead and speed on over. Go ahead and speed on over here and grab our nap. Because if I get over here, I'm liable to not get it back around. And I can't exactly remember where the, the trigger is. There it is. Awesome. Oh, what, what do you know? It's raining. Josh, it wouldn't be a... Uh, for one, it wouldn't be an FTG stream, and it wouldn't be an ATS stream without some rain. So, and I even turned it all the way down. It, they, they still don't care. Actually, let's just go ahead and go all the way around. You gonna let me out? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pretty good on gas. We're going to have plenty to get us there, so uh, looks like I'm going to have to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we do here. Let's see if we get this big old bus turned around. Let's see, look at my map here. We may just go ahead and uh, let's see here. Um, all right, so we're going this way. All right, so we are going the right way. Reset. There we go. All right. Now we should. There we go. Now we're going the right way. All right. Good. Glad I didn't turn around. Hey, what's up, Terrace? Yes, I do remember you, man. I certainly do. I mean, just to give you a little bit of, uh, if you're wondering here, what I am driving, what I've got mod-wise. Um, I do have a modern dash pack for the 900. I have the, the 900 cabin accessories I also have, which is where the steering wheel comes from. It's not part of the uh, the standard game. Let's see. Get these where they're going all the time. Okay, I guess that's as fast as they're going to go. Um, but anyway, I've got that. And this is the standard W900, but I do have an engine sound pack. It's like uh, engines. This is the Cummings pack R. Uh, and Caterpillar engines, and I think it gives you, um, say it's 2.6 is the, uh, is the, is the, is the, the version number on that, so if you're looking on the Steam Workshop, look for 2.5, 2.6, gives you a lot of cool things like your, uh, uh, when the tires are rolling down the streets, your tire noise, wind noise, uh, all the, 
you know, inside the switches, the air brakes, coyote brakes. Uh, they got new parking brake sounds. I've got, that's just kind of some of the, the, the intro level, just truck mods. All that's on the workshop. Most of all my cargo mods there are off of other sites. So a lot of the double trailers that I have, the reefer trailers, um, any kind of custom FedEx, UPS skins, all that stuff, it all comes out of somewhere else other than the workshop. Unfortunately, there's not that much except for FedEx. There is a lot of FedEx uh, here on... Oops, um, let, me, uh, let me go down with chat here. Sorry about that. It was stuck way up, so... Alright. Crane is all it does. I know, man. Trust me, I don't like driving it as much as y'all like watching it. I like these trailers, they're not the full 48, so I've got basically like a 24, and then I've got a 48 on top of that, so it actually works really well. Yes, that, that, that would be really awesome, Walter. I mean, there is a winter mod where someone, you know, basically, you put this mod in, and it uh, basically throws winter on. I mean, there's really no other way to say it, but... And it, it works okay. I'm, I've driven it. It does change, especially when you've got a physics mod. It's different. Thank you. 
again. I hate driving in third person because I feel like I'm going to wreck. Mr. Gamer, what's up, man? How are you doing? Yes. Uh, I totally agree, Walter. I wish we had a quick... Now, I think... Now, I need to go back and look. Uh, but I'm almost certain there's a developer way to uh, unlock it, kind of like you do farm sims, so that you can speed all that up from a developer's perspective. So if you want to test out certain areas, and I think they use that for modders that are doing map add-ons or doing scenery add-ons, you can you can really go back to, to you know custom areas without always having to reload and drive to a, a specific area. So I need to do some more research to see if that's something I can do, because if it is, I would use it for streams, because, I mean, this is all brand new stuff here so going into elko like this is something that you don't see in the regular game and it looks absolutely fantastic and you wouldn't get to see any of this if you were if you're running all this at night so uh, that would be my one hang up with this game is that you can't speed up nighttime and i understand why they do it um i just see a nice helicopter flying across the mountains right there for a i'm sure that's a scenery run there pretty cool to see that kind of stuff in and out What's up? A born diagram. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's up, Nick? How are you doing, bud? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Euro truck chassis on American trailer. Oh, it may be. But most of the trailers, most of all the the outdoor mod stuff. Uh, especially when it comes to cargo, especially when it comes to trailers, every single bit of it uh, is always usually converted for ETS. Thank you there, Trey Allen, for the big subscription there. Thanks for riding uh, shotgun here with me to this uh, evening, I should say. So thank you guys for your uh, support already tonight. It is awesome. As always, I enjoy this and uh, enjoy it even more, especially when we got a lot of guys watching and chat is booming. So I'm trying to keep up with chat. Uh, I'll say mods, if, if someone asks a legitimate question, if they ask it again, if chat goes up and I don't get to it, then go ahead and let them have that second one. So guys, if you if you don't, don't spam chat. Um, I've got a pretty long list here of chat that's going on, so just give it once, once time, I think it's fair. So if they ask a question more than uh, twice or three times, then go ahead and, you know, just hide that away so any, everybody else can have a chance to, uh, to, to jump in there. Time that right, I'm glad he took off. So whoever was wanting to train the train containers, there they are there in front of us. So if we pick one of those up for you, we definitely will do that this uh, this evening. I put those in especially for I can't remember exactly who wanted them, but uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was for you. So I hope you're in watching because I'll be ticked if you're not. Hey, what's up there? What do I do live? Uh, do I go live every day? I try to. I don't always. I don't always do it, but. Uh, you know, if I if I do get in here, then it's fine. Um, uh, here we go. All right, yeah. So I do try to go live every night. It's not all the time. Sometimes things do come out. And I do have you know life and family as a jet flies over Elko. It's totally realistic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I do try to go live. I enjoy it. So if I get the time to go at night, uh, I certainly will do it. Hey, what's up, Jace? How are you doing, man? Yep, I'd agree with that. That sediment, Walter. That seems to be the uh, that seems to be the way it always is. And I'm usually sitting there fussing about the game, especially when you guys are, are watching a, a live stream and I'm sitting there going, "Oh my God, I wish y'all could see this because it's so freaking cool." And some of these areas I haven't been to in the daytime. I've only seen them at night, and at least from what I can see, it looks great. And a lot of these, uh, Ioko, I think, is redone, I think. I don't think it's part of the uh, the standard ATS. I could be completely wrong on that. This stuff is, uh, this stuff is good. If you have not tried Project West, give it a whirl. Give it a shot as you go. Going by our garage there on the left, we've got a huge one up here in Elko. Actually, really cool the way that comes. Uh, can it break down? No, it cannot. Well, yes, it can. I, I take that back. It can. You can wreck it to the point. Uh, you know, so when you take damage, when you run into fences, run into other cars, you accumulate damage, and the trailer can accumulate damage that the truck doesn't. So if your trailer accumulates damage, then if you're playing a legitimate game, 
uh, and a legitimate profile, then you lose money on that delivery. Uh, you don't get as much money for it, or you may even wind up having to pay for it. Uh, and then the same way with the truck, if you, uh, let's say, let's say if you get up like 40% damage on the truck, you might notice that you don't have eight high, eight low, and maybe seven high. So maybe you've got to drive the rest of the trip on, you know, like seven, seven low or worse or slower. So that's pretty much how they, how they operate. We'll hit there. It's going to be really close. There we go. Like a boss. Hey, what's up, Trey Allen? How are you doing, buddy? All right, so we're going to our last, uh, we're in the Elko here is where we're at. So we're trying to take, uh, if you're just new and kind of, hey, what the heck is this interstate freight? This is everything container-based, UPS-based, FedEx-based. So we did FedEx already. That was the first episode. We did UPS. Today we're in Hunt. Uh, we'll look at the truck here as we're getting ready to pull in. We're in a hunt trucking out of Payne, Ohio. DOT numbers and our uh, gross value weights all set in here. This is great. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can uh, what we can haul out of here. So if it's container weight, if it's uh, big trucks, the doubles. I don't think this truck that I have here personally is gonna haul a double. Not up here in the mountains. If we were down on the lower end where it's a little bit flatter, uh, I think it would. We'll start to see some of these uh, some of these trailers come through, but. Uh, we'll deliver this one off and then we'll see what else here is in Elko that we can grab We've got a lot of different cool container ship kind of cargo Esque stuff and I'm not going to uh, let's see. I'm well. We might be able to do that. We can try it We'll try it. Let's see. Let's see how to get around there. Oh, okay. This is right here All right, let's try this See if, we'll see, I don't know if the doubles will fit in here, but it, yeah, it don't look like They probably won't. This is a modded trailer, so it'll probably jam us through the wall, so it's a good thing that we have, uh, so it's a good thing we have a garage here we just go right in. <laughs> yeah, probably not going to, because I'm probably going to have to get those rear tires in the, uh... Yep. Oh! Look at there. I'm not going to be able to get out of here, that's for sure. And we're late, of course. We had to go up and check out McDermott, so that was a cool little area, so we're glad, glad we did that. Uh, let's see what else we got on the job market here. I will say, let, uh, let's see if we can at least kind of go in the same direction we've been going. Uh, so we've got some of these cool uh, gravel trucks. They're kind of uh, in there new. Now, these right here, the singles and the doubles, uh, here's more of these uh, these double reefers. We can, we can give the double reefers a break if we can find something else cool. Um... Oh man, that's going all the way down. Well, I guess we could carry Schneider out of here. I wasn't really wanting to, but oh, that's actually a perfect little trip there. Um, okay, let's let's do this. Let's. Um, I really didn't want to do that one either. Uh, perfect. Let's just pull a UPS freight. Why not? Um, we'll just pull a UPS freight and we'll pull it down and we'll unlock wells and we'll stop down here in Eli or Ellie. We'll stop down here and then we'll see what else is there. So maybe we can get a cut through. I would love to kind of cut back through Tonopah and then get back up here into the NorCal because that area is beautiful. We've seen enough desert in the past couple of days. Uh, so we see if we can't move something else down the road. Um, let's go ahead and set this as our destination. We'll pick us up a UPS truck, although that's not... Oh, uh, I guess we could stop. Um, hmm. Let's do... Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Let's just let's carry these. I haven't carried the gravel out. They're not huge loads, but they're they're cool. I haven't carried them out. Um, we'll uh, this is part of a new version two mod that I saw today on I believe it was ATS Mods not LT, and it was a version two of new company and trailer mods. So I think these came in with it because this BHP uh, billetin is not a part of the game and it's not a part of the uh, I can't remember the guy that does them. Um, but he does like a version 1.1 company mod, and this is totally different than that. So uh, I would love to pull out the doubles here, but I, I'm not interested in going all the way to Mexico. So let's just do this. We'll stop here in uh, in Ellie, or we'll stop down here in Pioche, and then see where we can get from there. Um, and that, that should be good. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. Both of those are going to the same place. Uh, let's go in and grab that one because it'll look better with white. 
I'm super efficient like that. And I'm probably not going to be able to get out of here. 20 bucks. Yeah. I think this happened the other day. Let's see. Maybe we can, maybe we can. Gravel is different. Okay. Alright. I was trying to think. I was kind of thinking it might be. Um, but yeah. FTG. No faith, man. No faith. No faith at all. Alright. And let's see. We're going down to... Alright, going basically across the street and up the street. Alright. Well, welcome, everybody. Today, so we got quite a few watching. So if you're brand new, uh, have me hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Get a nice big old shout out and a couple of horn honks here from FTG. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, if you got questions on anything, please feel free to introduce yourself in chat. It's a wonderful chat. A lot of good guys uh, here that are uh, willing to help out. If you got questions on mods, uh, at least one I can at least give you an idea. I might not be able to tell you exactly what's in the game, uh, but I can definitely. Um, and uh, thank you there, Zach Scott, for uh, following directions to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you riding shotgun here with FTG tonight. A lot of fun. Thank you guys for your support, as always. Couldn't do it without you, and it's always awesome to have a lot of guys in here hanging out, uh, enjoying a really good live stream here with a really, really, really great sim. Uh, people always asking, hey, man, what are you uh, what are you running with? You got steering wheels, pedals. I do have steering wheel, pedal, all G29 here from Logitech, as well as the 6 speed shifter. And I just ordered, and reordered, I should say, a, another SKRS shifter, so it should be here in uh, roughly two weeks. Ford Tech Gamer, what is going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Thank you guys for your subscriptions, Ryan Shotgun. There, we got quite a few riding with me tonight, so thank you guys. That is awesome to see. What's up, Mal Lopez? How are you doing, bro? Uh, Keith, yes, you can travel. I do have another set profile. Uh, so if you like this, if you like ATS, stay with us here because when our next series is, we're actually going to go cross country from Cali all the way to the East Coast. And then we're going to do a nice East Coast run from Bangor, Maine, all the way down to Key West. So we're, we can go straight through the middle of Knoxville, I believe, is where the city of Texas is through. So thank you there, Mr. Hood, for the subscription there. Thank you, guys. That is awesome. Uh, lots of support tonight. That is uh, awesome, man. Yes, hello, Vortech. Hope you're doing well. Kenworth98, what is up? And uh, Coast to Coast is not really, uh, it's not really a field like California is, although they're trying to make it that way. Um, I imagine as long as that uh, still continues to keep being updated, uh, that they'll continue to have uh, success in being able to continually build onto that map. Um, it, they've got a good start with it. They just need to populate some more down in the in the southern areas around Texas because it is it is boring. Beautiful UPS trailers there. I love those trailers. I enjoyed it when we went and did the uh, we went back and did the uh, the UPS runs. Those were a lot of fun. I doubt it, Pro Gamer. How are you doing, by the way, man? Thanks for stopping in. What's up, Min Green 428? Thank you for your subscription, guys. Appreciate that. Don't forget, there's some likes down here on the video as well. If you enjoy the content, uh, that certainly does get content out. But it also helps me just know that this is something you guys like to see and you like to watch. I put everything, if you're just brand new into the channel here and kind of looking around and figuring out what all I do and what games I, I stream and... Um, pretty much I uh, keep it to all simulation style games uh, just for me that's the most fun I enjoy the uh, I enjoy those kind of job substitute games um, so explain is coming in I'm still actively working on getting that one done and Vincent's on my case to get that one started and get it rolling uh, so that one's definitely coming into the near future uh, and we're doing farm sims gonna be starting back Colleen Kreider with this subscription. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Nice little horn on here from the W900 Kenworth. Hey, what's up, Strike? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Most of the time, trade my my time is usually around 10, 30, or 11. Uh, it got a little started later tonight than I wanted to, uh, but usually uh, I like to be going by then. Uh, 11 o'clock is the absolute latest that I'll start the stream. 
I'll usually continue to go streaming too as long as we still got a lot of people watching in the active chat. Uh, at some point, you know, I do obviously have to go to bed, but um, that's, you know, that's understandable, right? <laughs> well, thank you there, Zach Scott. Appreciate that, man. All right, awesome, Keith. Well, uh, I tell you, something that I, I do try to do is I do try to keep most of my live streams up on when uh, when we do things, I like to put them and schedule them. So if it is, I will put on there using coast to coast or you know uh, cross country trip or something of that nature. So when you see that title come up, you'll be like, oh, I bet that's what it is. And then you kind of check in and see what's going on. As you can kind of hear that sound mod there with the wonderful gravel hill underneath our uh, tires. Sounds amazing. This scenery is amazing. Look at that. That is, that looks like a proper mine. Looks like a proper mine. So if you're curious what kind of, uh, what kind of map mods we're using, Viva Mexico, Project West, and about five or six other maps on top of that. If you're interested on figuring out how in the world do you install all that and your game doesn't crash, it took me about two weeks to figure out exactly how to do it. Click the link there in the description and it'll take you straight to a video that'll lay out all the mods. I'll give you all the links to the mods uh, and provide every bit of information in the video to get you set up and get you running and trucking exactly like I am here on live stream. So uh, you guys take take uh, take that and do with it as you please. Uh, oh, this, one's, this gives us some different options. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Short and long version. All right, let's let's uh, let's take the gravel job. Taking the gravel job. Hey, what's up, Soulmeister? How are you doing? All right, let's see. Always, this is always a crazy one because you got to figure out exactly where your uh, where your truck is. Oh, so there's the this way. Durr. All right. So I'm using uh, realistic mountain textures, uh, using realistic roads, uh, enhanced vegetation, and then a realistic weather 2.0, I believe is my four main graphic mods on top. So that's why the mountains look the way they do, the dirt textures, all that stuff's all been subbed out and replaced, so that's why it looks that good. Alright, let's see if our trailer zone looks like it's on the bottom. I think I'm probably going to have to back myself up to get up there, maybe. Yep. All right. God, this truck is... I love this skin. The skin on this truck's got a nice kind of off-white tinge to it. It's got that classic striping down the side, and it just looks like it fits. Uh, what's my favorite truck company? Yes, I would actually go with Freightliner because I live in Fre Freightliner country. I don't really, in trucking, I don't really care, honestly. I mean, I, I know that's... Oh, you gotta care. I, I really don't. It's, it's you know, Ford, Chevy, I'm Toyota. If it come down to it, I would say Freightliner just because one of their main assembly plants with Daimler and Chrysler is in my backyard here in North Carolina. So that's, uh, that, that would be the reason just for a local, local manufacturing support. And I do like their trucks. And I do like the Volvos. And I would be using the Volvo, uh, the 670 here. A lot of people like that one. I would be using that mod, except the only problem is that it is not uh, compatible with Pro Mod. I mean, with uh, Project West. At least I found it not to be, um, because I cannot, for the life of me, get it to work. And I figured out why. It's because it draws a Volvo dealership, and uh, you cannot change the dealerships evidently and add more to Project West that's not already there. So when you buy the 670 Volvo, it puts a Volvo dealer and changes the map itself and it will not does not play well with Project West. So yeah, that's why I'm not in the Volvo. I actually really like that truck. That's probably one of my more favorite ones. Alright, let's see, let's get them back in here. There we go. I didn't even look out the window. Y'all should have given me some, some some credit for that one. Hey what's up Raylan Reuter? How are you doing? What's your favorite trick of me? Oh, this there you Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Catch up a little bit here with chat. Well, I hear you, Keith. It's okay. I, I was there. I didn't have one at all except the stuff that I did for my Mac. And uh, so I, I decided to go ahead and break out, save up, and buy a proper PC. So uh, can I put the mods? I would normally uh, I would normally not have a problem doing that mean green except I have so many. I don't know the best way to really put them up there and keep them all in there. 
Um, I'm using most of the popular stuff. Cargo mods I find from outside sources because um, usually they're not updated. Double trailers. Hey! There's my boy, Goat Guy. What's up, man, with $5? Thank you for your support. As always, man, you always come through in the nick of time. So thank you for your uh, support, Goat Guy. It's always great to see you. I hope you're doing well. All right, let's see where our, uh, where our exit is. I think I'm supposed to go that way, honestly. I think I am. Tropic Cookie with the sub. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You guys are awesome tonight. Thank you. We got, oh, man. Hey, we got a lot, a lot of guys here uh, watching. So you new guys, man. Uh, first of all, hit that sub button if you enjoy it. And second, introduce yourself, man. Uh, and you got introduce yourself and uh, say hey. I definitely love meeting all the new guys here in the community as well. We've been doing Farm Sim for a long time. And I'm finally just breaking and doing some of these other games. Um, so it is just so exciting getting to meet a lot of new guys as well. Seeing a lot of new fresh faces continually coming back. So thank you for that. Trooper Zachary with some. Thanks, guys. Uh, as always, mucho gracias. All right. Let's get on out of the mines. Let's get back on the road. Hit the old dusty trail back down to Eli. That's a cute trailer. <laughs> Come on, man. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Uh, graphic realistic mod. Cinnamon Roll Master, what's up? You'll take Toyota or Chevy. I will take Toyota over Chevy every day. That's for resale, and because I've only had that truck, it's got 172,000 miles on it, and it's only been in the shop once. And that was covered under warranty. <laughs> Hey man, what's up Dylan? How are you doing? Is that I is that Dalton? What's up? Uh, thank you man, appreciate that. So I guess you're enjoying my backup skills. I try. I enjoy trying to do the challenge. Bear's always challenging me to uh, to do it a different way. Uh, challenging me to uh, downshift. I'm working on downshift and I haven't gotten good, that great at it. Uh, but I did turn my braking uh, sensitivity way down, so it actually takes a good bit of pressure to get this thing stopped, which feels a little bit more realistic. So what uh, steering wheel? Yes, I am using a steering wheel there, Pro Gamer. Um, I'm using a steering wheel. It's the G29 Logitech, uh, and that is with the pedals, with the clutch, and with the six feet. So I've just got a range shifter and splitter here uh, on, the key on, the, uh, on the keyboard, but on the steering wheel. So I just hit a button, takes me from four low to five low, and then when I want to switch over, I can switch back up to five high there, uh, and then uh, it's, it's split my range of so sets. It's pretty, it's a decent setup. It's not the best. When I get my attachment, I'll be able to do all that with one hand and leave my uh, left hand for uh, steering. So that'll be that'll be nice. And hopefully by the time we'll do some kind of a wheel cam or something, since we'll have a, a full little ensemble setup here going on. Uh, so be looking out for that. I'm, I'm definitely want to try to get that in because I think that'll be kind of cool. I enjoy watching people do ATS when they've got a wheel cam. I think that's a little more interesting. Uh, trailer, well, they might they might be down, but they're not supposed to be down. Well, they're they're they well they're yeah they're up. They might need to be down a little bit more if I wanted to clear something, but I guess I guess for right now they'll work. Well, thank you, there, Dylan. Appreciate that, man. Uh, graphic mod, realistic mod. I use Realistic Weather 2.0. Um, I've got that one. I've got Realistic Mountain Textures, Enhanced Vegetation, and Realistic Roads. So I've got those are the main four ones that I have. Uh, other than that, I don't have anything else. The Realistic Weather takes care of the bloom and that kind of, um, I don't know, that, that obnoxious kind of dream effect that's over everything. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, so it takes care of all that, which is nice. <laughs> Let me find my 12 gauge. <laughs> No, you can't wash it, Brandon. That would be nice if it did get dirty, especially driving and got a lot of a lot of muck and stuff from the road. I mean, the only way to make it dirty is if you went into the file and, and organized it yourself. Because another jet, jets are out. I guess maybe they're getting ready for North Korea. I have no idea. No politics. It's just uh, you know, in the, all over the news today. 
Uh, yes, green hoppers. If you download the mods, all right, we're going to outrun the uh, out, I'm going to outrun the Kenworth. <laughs> uh, and uh, so let me tell you what my next series is going to be. So my next series is going to be, and I, I thought, actually, you know what? Uh, chat is, um, hang on, chat's chat's blocked up here. Let me um, let me reset that. <laughs> Pulling over here. All right. Um, yeah, let's reset this. That way, I catch up. I always gotta, I always gotta remember to do that. Every, if for whatever reason, uh, every time I do this in an hour, um, I have to do this every single hour we stream. That way, uh, just updates everything. Uh, there we go. <laughs> well, that's okay there, Mr. Travis. Hashtag Roblox. Had to see what that message was. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fine. You can, uh, yeah, so what? Uh, I, I messed it up. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, mainly, my big deal was making sure that I got chat and everything on the screen there so people are watching and know what's going on. I could care less about this traffic, man. It's all good to just come in, hang out, and have a good time. If you want to criticize me, I'm not going into your Roblox stream and, and criticizing how you play that game. So, just all, all here to have a good time, man. That's it. Travis Harris, hey, off from Space City. Awesome, man. Now, I wouldn't mind being there. That is that is great, man. Yes, and that's exactly right there, Dalton. That's my that's my one uh, my one difficulty, especially in this game. I, I downshift too early. I learned on a, just a regular five-speed on the floor, and... It, um, in a Toyota truck, actually, ironically, but yeah, for whatever reason, man, it's just it's hard figuring out the uh, the RPMs to go down, especially when you got so many gears to transfer through. It's just a lot going on. Oh, I want to bypass. All right, well, we ain't got to stop today. It's good. Dillman Triple Zero, what's up, man? How are you doing? I'm safe, triple six, wow. Oh, come on now. I used to play this stuff as a kid. You get mad at everything, because you, know, you never knew what to do. You mean in uh, just the trucking? L&D Productions with the sub, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Get close to putting on 25 tonight. I, I mean, it would be awesome to hit 2300. I don't know if we'll actually do that today, but... We literally hit 2K last week, and uh, 2100, two, and then 2200 was like two nights ago. Uh, so you guys have just like poured on the love here with FTG. So thank you for that. It's uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, a little humbling at times and a little bit crazy. I, uh, I certainly don't expect it. So thank you guys for your support. How do you uh, double clutch? Is that Aiden? Uh, is that Mercy? Mercy or Mercy? I'm stomping on her there, Bear. Woo! Stuart Naylor, thank you, man. Appreciate that. There we go. Sub train to 2300 tonight. Maybe. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hey, look at there. Salt Lake City's closed. <laughs> no, obviously, because we don't have a road that leads to Salt Lake City. It is cool though when you get coast to coast and you actually leave out of the desert area. I will say that is a pretty cool feeling. So we'll, we'll eventually get back to coast to coast. saying the right names what you mean I'm not saying the right names what do you mean not saying the right names hey what's up is that our uh yeah I yeah what's up uh Zinbert Zin PR I'm just calling you PR what's up PR for short man I never got your name right before so don't expect it now welcome back bro doing well oh 
is that August Inc? Thanks for the sub, guys. Appreciate that. And uh, maybe let's, uh, well, well, we had half a tank, so we're good there. We're good there. Let me look at the map, because I feel like this is a long way. So, Wells. Um, all right, so Wells is there. So, we're going to stop here in Eli. So, let's, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, shoot, there's not really much around here. This is a little small town. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull off. We'll grab a nap down here, because we're going to be about, we're about ready for that one. Wells discovered. Very cool. I don't really think I need anything else, so I think we're good to go. Getting right here. There we go. And beautiful scenery here as we take off down, going south through Nevada. This is uh, beautiful stuff. Love this. A lot of this is, some of this is Project West. Uh, 1.2.3.2. Uh, that's the version they're currently in right now. Um, so it's nice to see a lot of this vegetation and a lot of these rocks and the textures I'm using here with the mountain textures are beautiful. So uh, it is definitely a yeah, is it a very much a pretty drive through here. So this is, this is great. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Don't forget also throw a like on the video and connect with me there on social media. I haven't even mentioned it, but. Uh, connect with me there. I'm on Twitter. I really want to do the Twitter. So that's my, actually my favorite social media when it comes because I like being able to keep up with all the gaming. My gaming partners, all of my gamers are on there. Raptor's on there. I know Strike, you have one. I don't know if you keep it up or not, but I know Nick's on there. Um, and I think there's a few others. Vincent's on Twitter. So it's, it's really cool to kind of get everybody collectively in the same kind of online uh, social media community as well especially when you're sharing stuff it's neither real life or whether it's just gaming in general it's pretty cool to see all that as well so uh feel free to follow me there facebook is more of um i'm just kind of waiting to see what happens there's not been a lot of uh, a lot of action on facebook so i'm just not really doing much to it right now because um, facebook's kind of in between you know it's like an intergenerational thing if you're too young it's like yeah facebook's dumb but if you're on the, you know, the middle age or older side, then Facebook is still like, you know, a hip thing to do. Um, so I'm just, I'm just trying to play my cards right and do a couple of social medias really well instead of doing five of them terrible. So. <clears throat> Yeah, so, okay, I'm, I'm seeing what you're saying, Shrike. Um, that's weird. Let me, yeah, I might, I might reset that and look at that, because um, it's pulling up something different here on my uh, on my secondary side. So, yeah, if I miss that, guys, I apologize for that. I'll tell you what I can do. Once I find the next stomping point here, I'll actually pull up my, my street map in, in its uh, entirety there, and I'll use it to, uh, to throw shout-outs on that. So th thanks for pointing that out, Strike. I see what you're saying now. Man, that's a big old bump there for a railroad track. Lord. Nice. Nice. Very cool. So anyway, uh, just to kind of cap that off and finish that off, uh, feel free to follow me on there. Feel free to tweet at me. Uh, you know, send me messages on there, especially if there's stuff you guys want to see. Uh, if you got pictures you want to share, if there's some mods that say, "Hey man, I saw this trailer mod. Maybe you might like this. Whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter." Also, uh, tweet me some uh, pictures of your trucks. So if you're in ATS, uh, send me some pics of your modded trucks and do them from the photo editor mode. All right, so that's Cameron. Uh, yeah, so I'm behind on the stream. Okay, so I need maybe need to restart that. So thank you there, Cameron, for the subscription. Appreciate that. I'm seeing something different on stream levels. That's why it came through, man. I, I uh, now th thanks for letting me know. What's up, Griffin Gaming? What am I hauling? We're hauling a big load of gravel. So we're going to actually stop here in this gas station. We'll go ahead and top off, and then I'm going to reset my alerts here so that uh, the names match up with who's subbing. So I'm seeing two different names so I can't shout out both at the same time <laughs> so I'll fix that I actually know what's wrong with it so that's 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 all good all right let's 
see. Nice little uh, trap uh, cafe truck stop here. Let's pull in here, go ahead, and we'll reset this, and uh, and we'll get that going here. So have everything squared away. All right. All right, let's go ahead and we'll set the engine brake, pull out, I mean the uh, parking brake. Go ahead and fill up with some gas here. Filling up with gas, awesome. What's up, Jerry's Projects? What is going on, man? Good to see you as always. Because I've seen the page is black and I can't see the truck. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, so there's that. Awesome. Oh, I love that every time, man. It gets out of the truck, you hear the gas cap, you hear the keys. If you time it right, it actually sounds like you pull it in. Alright, so let's uh let me let me reset this, because I know this is driving y'all nuts, it's driving me nuts. All right, so there's Cameron. All right, so he's on. That's reset. So I'm good to go. Thanks for pointing that out, Strike. Appreciate that. It's totally on. Uh, totally on my bad on that one. Yeah, we certainly can, Dawn. I don't, I don't mind doing. Uh, I don't mind doing truckers. I, I just don't normally do it for stream because it's just the standard map. Um, it's a lot more fun to do the modded stuff just because. You know, sometimes, especially like mine, I've got a, I've got the map set working with so many add-ons and so many additive maps that a lot of people don't have. It at least gives you a, a view or something different to see than just the standard ATS. So, um, so that's the only reason I like to stream single player on this, because especially with the traffic mod, I mean, it adds enough, you know, it adds enough in, into it without having to deal with just lag issues and you know that typical multiplayer issue. So. If you guys are interested in what I was driving, the Kenworth W900, this is the standard truck, but it is a reworked version uh, that has all the bells and whistles and mod packs and one on it. So this is a hunt trucking out of Payne, Ohio. So if that is you, this is an awesome skin for trucks. All right, let's hit it. Rip it, rip it. Diesel not gas. <laughs> you always call me on that. Sorry about that. And PR, yeah, man, I got you, man. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does Optic Assassin. I mean, honestly, you guys have literally watched me. This sucks. Everything. I feel like we all we do is spend time at night. You know, guys are trying to watch us squint in your eyes, trying to see the map and see what's going on. There's so much pretty scenery here. Travis Harris, is that right? There we go. Thank you for joining hashtag FTG United. Maybe wonder exactly what FTG United is. Well, let me tell you real quick. It's very small, but uh, FTG United basically is just uh, getting back to basics of enjoying a community of gamers all under the same umbrella. So whether that's um, you know whether that's through trucking, X Plane, Farm Sim, Euro Truck 2, I want you guys to give other games an opportunity to say, oh man, I hate UGS. Well, give it a try and then see what you think, you know, especially in a live stream. And it doesn't cost you a thing, um, and you might wind up liking it, which is kind of where I came from on ETS. Uh, and then something like x -Plane. If you're like, man, I don't got time for flight sims, come check one out. I know Benson, he is a big follower of another YouTuber that I, I, I said, man, if you don't like, go watch this guy. And I think uh, Vincent could speak for himself, but I think he's kind of hooked on it now. He's really wanting to see us uh, stream here with the FTG, so we're going to have to make that happen sooner. We're going to have a mutiny on our hands. But uh, but anyway, give some other stuff a, a chance. Give it a shot. Uh, so that's really what FTG United was all about, was being able to celebrate gaming all under the same uh, umbrella where everyone's accepted, everyone's felt like they're a part of the fam. Uh, nobody's really X'd out and crossed out just because, you know, whatever. It's a place for you to be you. Uh, so that's what it'll always remain as long as I'm at the head of it trying to direct that so uh, that's why I always like introducing everybody and for you to introduce yourself get out here uh, and uh, plug into the community because it is definitely it is definitely worth it I think you guys can y'all can be the judge of that but I'm trying to make it worth it how about that I uh, know I do not have Instagram. I'm thinking about it, but uh, based off of just Twitter and, in, and just involvement from a gaming perspective, uh, not yet. 
if, if you wind up getting a lot, a lot more people want to see Instagram and want to see some of that other stuff, then I don't, I don't really, I don't really mind doing it. I'm not sure how much, uh, you know, I'll keep up with it, but we'll certainly see. There goes a big yes from Benson. <laughs> Yeah, he's been doing some cool stuff, Vince, and I've been keeping up with it. Quentin M. Collins, thank you for your sub. You guys are awesome. 16 away, man. I, th I honestly think we can do it, man. We honestly can do 2,300 tonight. That would be uh, absolutely insane. So there's guys that hadn't sucked. You guys want to be a part of that big push to 23. Uh, please consider doing it if you, only if you enjoy the content. I don't want you here if you just want to do it for a number. Uh, I just want guys here that want to be here and want to be plugged in. That's all. Uh, and especially if you just like the content and you want to keep up with it. So... Uh, that's my main stipulations for being a subscriber. Which is basically what a subscriber is. Chris live coming in with the sub. Got a ton of guys riding up live here with FTG. Appreciate it, guys. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, man. We can fly the 747. We can fly them all. I can't wait to show you some of my controls and some of the stuff that I've invested in for x -Plane. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Doing all that online as well with ATC. So we'll be doing Pilot Edge as well as Vansim Network, which is basically guys like me that are air traffic control enthusiasts. They'll all be doing the uh, air traffic control, and I'll be talking to them uh, during the live stream as well, trying to catch up with chat and trying to talk to you guys some as we're flying uh, 737s, 47s, or anything. Embraer 175s or 190s, I mean, you name it, we can fly, we can island hop, we can Caribbean, we can go anywhere in the world, and I'm stomping on the gap. Woo! I didn't think I was going to get stopped for that one. I'm liking these railroad tracks, man. I, I kind of want to hit one of these. Like, I want to hit it full speed. Well, I want to see what happens. Oh, you can never watch him live. Oh, really? Well, I guess I get, I can, uh, I can get that, Vincent. I, I can understand that. It's a long stream, so at least you can kind of fast forward and kind of, kind of, kind of get through in and out of, of different places. So yeah, I didn't think about that. Thank you there, David. Is that Wallace? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, looks like I've got a double going here. Let me figure out which way I need to go because I think I'm, we're in our... Okay, yeah, we are here. All right, so I need to go straight, and then we're going to go grab a nap. And then we may just go ahead and cancel this one and see if we can't pick up something else. And that'll be great because that'll put us in the daylight, and we can actually see some of the scenery around us. Silver State Achievement Progress. All right. Woo. Yeah, I've got my brights on. <laughs> it's too it's too dull without them. Thank you there, Davey and Nielsen. Thank you for your subscription. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, it looks like my numbers are hanging up again. Dang. Every time we want to do this, man, those numbers on that bottom of the screen there, they hang up every single time. Uh, you can fly a C-130, although there's not a really, a really good one in there. Thank you there, uh, Max and Wolf. Appreciate the subscription, guys. Y'all keep them coming. Appreciate that support tonight. That is crazy amounts of support. So thank you, guys. Oh, well, thank you there, Young Guns. Appreciate that. Glad you got to check them out. I, I, you know, it's always weird watching a live stream when it's not live. I, I've kind of always been not necessarily against that, but it's hard to watch a live stream when you're not, like, a part of it. And it's, you know, part of the live stream uh, effect... Thank you there, Young Gun Reviews. Appreciate that. Uh, you know, part of the, just part of the, the whole live stream experience is being able to talk with everybody, not just me, and watch content. I mean, uh, there's there are friendships that are forged inside the chat that wouldn't have happened had it not been for the chat. And if you guys were just all here just watching me and listening to me yap on and yap on and yap on, um, that's part of it and being able to communicate with me but part of it too is being able to band back and forth with uh, with everybody else and especially if you keep coming back then you'll other guys will start to say hey too and then you'll start to talk back to them and I mean who knows one day you might be you know y'all might be exchanging phone numbers and be texting and calling each other talking about what you saw on YouTube the night before I mean I've not been there that, that, that's hypothetical and a rhetorical question it doesn't need an answer so <laughs> Hey, what's up? Thing one, thing two, go to any, you can Google that, C2C or Coast to Coast. You're looking for 2.2.1, I believe, is the newest and the latest, greatest with uh, Coast to Coast. 
Um, ATSmods.lt, if someone wants to drop that link in there, one of the mods, uh, that's a good place to get it. It's a good, safe place. Um, relatively low, uh, low end on the, um, you know, the adware and malware and that kind of stuff. Just anytime you go into any of those type of sites, make sure you've got an adblock extension. Thank you there, Clayton Pickle. What's up, man? Thank you for riding a shotgun here with FTG tonight. You guys are great. I would do my Tony the Tiger, but I got some people sleeping. I might wake him up. But anyway, yeah, go uh, check out atsmods.lt. Uh, and that will, uh, I think that'll probably, that should throw us, that should throw you right into it. And it should be like on the first or second page. Uh, and actually most of the links that I take you to here, uh, in regards to the videos, if you guys want to see the map that I'm using and wants to see all of this stuff and how all these mods work together, uh, click that link down here in the bottom and that'll take you to where I just kind of walk you through having to set it all up. A lot of those sites that you're downloading those maps from, you'll probably see the Coast to Coast mod right there on it so that's a good place to grab it let's grab us an app here and uh, this should recycle some jobs in and out and finally blue skies no rain uh, let's see what we got because we might just cancel what we do have if there's anything good around here in in Eli or Ellie whatever this is um, here we go let's see let's all maybe see if we can't go through uh, tonal pod that would be cool uh, I've been looking to kind of go back here's some nice tankers we could uh, oh here's the oh it's going the wrong way Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll take some diesel. How about that? I like it. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, you know what? I might not get it because um, I need to cancel this one, and I think it loses me some time. So let's abandon it. All right. So there's that, and please let that diesel uh, be back there. Please let it be there. I wanted to pull one of those tankers. Yes, all right, and so this is another map area that I do have. So this is, um, make sure that this is all I have down here. Walmart back up north. Oh, that one's going all the way back over. That would be a cool little trip. But I do have part of this is Tonopah reworked, and I've yet to been through there. The game may crash. It shouldn't, but it might. Um, a link to what? Uh, ATSmods.lt. There you go, Benson. ATSmods.lt. That should take you to a good, reputable site. I've never had any problems with that site, and you can uh, go through there. You'll have all the download links to everything in that video, uh, and then if you want to, um, uh, you can look for Coast to Coast will be in there. Viva Mexico's in there. Canada Dream is in there, so if you want to try out any of those maps, just install them uh, one by one. That video will tell you how to run Project West and all the proper mods on top of it, so if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, and I'm working on uh, just finishing up. I need to upload. Uh, and finish up my graphics there for the uh, the coast to coast. So if you want to know how to run coast to coast, Canada and Mexico all together in one profile, just stay tuned because I've got a video here that I'm going to release here in another day or so uh, that it's going to teach you how to do all that as well. So. Wait on the traffic, wait on the traffic. Hey, I'm back. What's up, Chris? Welcome back, man. Glad to see you come back. Hey, what's up, Neb Place? Good to see you, man. I think I saw you in here and I snuck in under the radar, so welcome, man. Hope you're doing well. Guys, go check out Neb. He's been, uh, I think he's just getting started here, so he's wanting to do this YouTube thing, so I've been in his shoes before. So, uh, I think Benson, you still subbing? I mean, uh, I think Benson may be doing some streaming still, I think. Uh, Benson, feel free to, if you are. Go ahead and uh, go check out their channels. If you like the, what those guys are doing, go ahead and throw them a little bit of love. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Only nine from, really? Oh, man. This thing says 11, so that's okay. Maybe it's just having a, a little bit of problems there catching up. So, um, yeah, cool. All right, yeah, it's nine away, man. 2300 could be hit tonight, so if anybody has not subbed, uh, please do so. If you enjoy it, don't just sub because I'm asking you to. That never works out well. Well, very good, Benson. I need to come say hey sometime, man. That's the tell you with the with the little ones and just everyday life, man. I, it, I, I it's like I always say, man. I, I do good enough to even get on the live stream myself. It helps even try not to start out in seventh year too. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
still thank you, Vincent. I appreciate that, guys. Do a longer stream to tomorrow night. Awesome, awesome. If you like some vlog, go check out Mr. Neb Plays. We're going to be finally running into some farm sim. I know Benson and Neb, those guys were all originally from uh, from PS4 there with farm sim series. So uh, you guys will probably enjoy the fact we're actually going to do a progressive map. So I'm not going to be modding in a ton and, and changing a bunch. We're going to go back and do some John Deere. Uh, we're going to do a small, almost a very Virginia-esque style map. So it's going to be really, really, really cool. It's a, it's a really nice medium-sized map, so we're not going to be running a bunch of challengers and a bunch of crazy stuff on it. It's going to be a very, very, very cool stream, I think. we got some good ideas with it, um, so I, I know you guys are going to enjoy seeing uh, seeing a, a new Farm Sim series kind of take shape here in the next, uh, next week. So I think this weekend we're going to try to make a debut with it, so y'all be sure and, uh, and come out for that one. I'm kind of excited. The break has been good. Uh, the break's been good, but that's uh, it, it's one of those things. I'm, I'm I'm glad to finally be kind of feeling like I'm coming back into it again. So it almost feels new. Uh, just got enough of a break. We'll still finish up the sawmill as well. So you guys enjoyed the logging or any of that stuff. We're going to finish that up. I just needed a break. So ATS was a great break for that to get started, get something nice and established. Um, so I, I really feel good about it now. So wow, this is incredible. This is not in the game. At least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. This is crazy. It's like some kind of a, a big oil refiner, which, uh, refinery, which is fitting because we're actually picking up uh, we're picking up diesel from the refinery. So this is awesome. I saw that, Benson. Y'all got two, man. Y'all got Smoky, Smoky Mountain logging, and then you got Emerald Valley. Very cool, man. What's up, Dimitri Silva? Silva, what's up, man? Thank you. Appreciate that. Running Project West here as well as Mexico Map and a bunch of other reworked areas. Uh, this uh, refinery, uh, it's the first time I've seen the refinery. This is awesome. Oh, so we can put skins on this. What else we got? Oh. Oh, we got to take the long one. Got to get the long one. That's what she said. All right. So we're going to take us through an area called Tonopah. And Tonopah is uh, a reworked map. Uh, so if you go looking for those download sites on those maps, you'll see uh, this particular map, and this is a rework. So this this basically overdraws or over to okay, I'm on the other side. And coming. Wow, this is incredible. I'm just like wow. One of these days, I'm gonna get the. Uh, the track IR so we can just look around in the cab and look around and I'll have to switch the buttons and views be a lot more fluid and everything will look a lot better all right plus you got to be driving I feel like I'm driving this big old boat through here hey what's up Dakota how are you doing buddy Go to the port, got an appointment. All right, man, sounds good, Optic. Thanks for stopping in, hanging out with us. Always great to see you guys. You're always new to the channel, so, man, it's uh, always great to see you, man. Don't ever feel bad about having to hop out and get out when you can, man. I totally understand. Y'all usually troop it out for a long time, sometimes longer than I would if I was uh, watching, so. <laughs> Thanks for that. The Whisper. Oh, Pacific Inlet, nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. I actually thought about doing a little something on that one, but uh, I just decided I wanted to go back and do a farm. You know, did logging and gosh, all the mods and stuff. It's just uh, so much to keep up with. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be excited to bring it back because if you think about it, I didn't do much farming at the end of anything on the PS4 side. You know, everything was just what it was, and uh, it, it was it's it was. They just cut off on me <laughs> but anyway it's gonna be really nice to bring back to the farm because i didn't do a lot of that i did a lot of logging even on the ps4 side i was still doing a lot of logging you know, clearing areas and doing all the good stuff so it's gonna be cool man breaking it back and you know, hopping in a harvester every now and again although we'll let chuck do the harvest and he's, he's the man when it comes to a harvester <laughs> don't like the traffic though <laughs> who does like traffic nobody likes traffic nowhere 
All right, so we'll get up here and uh, we're on our way. This will be our probably our final trip for the evening. We'll see what time's like once we got down there. It's only eight hours. That's actually not a, a huge, huge trip. Here we are in the Hunt Kenworth W900 uh, Hunt Trucking out of Payne, Ohio, pulling the uh, whatever this is, gallon diesel. So this is the long diesel trailer. This thing is actually looks really good. The reflections on that are incredible. That's a well done trailer right there. It'd be nice if the bottom of it was all chrome, but I understand. All right, let's get it ripping here. Let's, uh, let's get on the road. This should be a, a fairly light load compared to what we have been hauling, so we should be able to move up the road pretty quick. Arms in for days. I hear you. Welcome to those that may be new here. Looks like we're about seven away, I think is what it looks like. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and consider doing that. And help be a part of our big push here to 2300 would be awesome if we hit that today. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, be thinking about that. Uh, be thinking about the content here if you want to keep up with it. We've got lots of other stuff planned. We've got lots of new series. The new trucking series, I would go ahead and tell y'all. Uh, new big trucking series going to be pulling all new farm equipment uh, here around California in the map. Uh, maybe even using something with Coast to Coast. I've got a little a little something something planned. I think we might be able to roll. Uh, if we can roll it with Coast to Coast, it's going to be really cool. So uh, if I can find the right way to set it up, it's going to be cool. And it'll be something we'll do Thursday night. It'll be kind of like our, our introductory or our, our outro of ATS, uh, at least for the weekend. And then we'll move into doing like a farm sim or doing one or two farm sims this weekend. But that ATS is going to be like the setup uh, for a big, huge, big old haul delivery straight into uh, to, uh, somewhere in Virginia. Uh, Coast to Coast does have some roads there in the interstates of Virginia. And I think that is where our map is set in. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's kind of like on the side of the, not really the mountains, but it's more like the foothills. Uh, there with the Appalachian Mountains, so that is going to be cool. So make sure you maybe check that out on Thursday. If it gets planned, if everything works the way I want it to, uh, then we'll make that happen. But if anything, we'll still be streaming something, uh, even if we're still back here in California on ATS. So got lots of good stuff going on, lots of other sims and uh, some other things coming down the line. So uh, you guys check back here with the channel. I'll also just to let you know if you are new, if you go back to the main page at any time. Uh, I usually put everything and group everything into playlist. So if you ever miss an episode of something or say, oh man, he live streamed last night. Hey, there's, is that Chinchilla88? Thank you for your sub, bud. Appreciate that. I think that's what it is, Chinchilla. You'll have to let me know. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll be doing a lot of this stuff. So, so, uh, what was that thing? I have to take off the hood. I like the hood mirrors, man, because I don't that means I don't have to look to the left. <laughs> I like the hood mirrors. I like them. Or maybe you're saying to have to take the hood mirrors off for driving in Vegas, maybe. Yeah. Yep, chinchilla without the eyes. I got you, man. Awesome. I always take a good stab of the names. I don't always get it, but I at least give it a whirl, so. And we'll uh, pull in here. We'll see. Tonopah is a reworked area here, so if you want to see any of these, hit that link down in the description, and that will take you back over to our, our uh, to a video I did where we're setting up all these mods and being able to stack all of this stuff up straight into uh, a new map set. So start your new profile, pull all this stuff in there, and start enjoying these roads. Why don't you want to go straight through Totopah, which is a new map. So uh, this is the one that I have yet to have seen yet, so we'll see what uh, we'll see how things go. It's only about a six-hour trip to kind of cut back through Nevada. And then we'll be back in NorCal, so maybe by tomorrow night, We'll be setting, uh, setting high and pretty up there in NorCal around San, uh, San Francisco. Sacramento will go all the way up north and uh, Hornsbrook, Redding, uh, Eureka, Ukiah, all those little uh, odd men cities. We've got a lot of add-ons for those as well. Uh, so we'll be able to run every bit of that, to, well, hopefully tomorrow. Goodness gracious. Uh -oh. Pull it again, Bear. Oh, man, it threw me off. There we go. 
Saludos! Hola, Ricardo Hernandez! Ah, uh, forgot to hit my range. There we go. Bienvenidos! Hola, como estas? 50 likes? Awesome, man! Great job on the likes, guys. Appreciate that. We've got 50 people. Uh, we've got 40 watching, so that would be 90 likes if everybody watching liked it. Just kidding. Just throwing random stuff out at this point. <laughs> Let's see, let's hit 2,500 tonight. We can do it, guys. Come on. I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if, uh, what's the number at? Are we getting close? Is, it, is that number updated? Is that 2,293 what it, what it actually is? I'm curious to see if my number's caught up yet. Mexico is good video. Gracias. 2294. Awesome. All right. Like this, we got a couple different things. A lot of. I thought it was. Oh, there it was. Okay. I know I missed something there. So we are running the G29. Those that are watching that are kind of curious. Uh, we're running the G29 with the full pedal set clutch and running with six speed here, all Logitech software stuff. Uh, it's running good. I like it. So if anybody's got any kind of, uh, you know, hey, what's the best keyboard? What's the best this? What's the best that? I won't say it's the best, um, but, uh, you know, really there's only two places that do uh, a full setups with shifters and that kind of thing, and that's this and Thrustmaster. Um, so if you're interested in other racing games, so if you're interested in like F1 series or any of the Dirt Rally series, uh, I will say that the G29 isn't a good fit. I think for the money it's a great fit, but if you want to really get serious with it, if you want to move into uh, iRacing and you really want to be seriously competitive with it, uh, maybe looking at the, uh, the, the, was it the Fanatec or the Fanatic stuff, um, their stuff is super expensive, but all kind of based in and around the Thrustmaster series. Um, that stuff is, is incredibly, uh, is incredible. Good. Well, I would say incredibly good. I mean, I have no idea, but just from what I can see, it's also incredibly expensive. So, taking into budget to account, this was the perfect steering wheel for me because I'll be using it mainly for trucking. Uh, and maybe a game here or there uh, that uses driving physics. Uh, maybe like a farm sim or something like that, but I don't really see myself as being a, a professional F1 racer uh, with the G29. So that was just my thing. So it worked for me. So hopefully uh, that kind of, no, it, it's not. The G29 is not either, but it's cheaper than the Thrustmaster stuff. Uh, once you get into the same field with the G29 as you are in the Thrustmaster, you're, you're definitely running uh, possibly. I know the shifter for this was 60 bucks. The shifter for Thrustmaster was about 200 Sam Abbott with the sub. Appreciate that. What are we at now? It says four. We are four shy for 2,300. We've got to have at least four guys out there watching now. we got 40 watching. I know there's not 40 guys in chat. What's going on? Evan going fishing. How are you? Is that or Orline Farms? Four more. Awesome, man. Thanks for the update. Appreciate that. Hello there, Baxton, uh, Baxton Wolf. Carlos El Perro. Carlos the dog. They're not, uh, Gwen, is that, uh, Bien, is that Viaje, is that video? Is that video there, uh, Michael Lee? I think that's video, I think. Basically, he said, uh, thank you, good video. So, gracias. I'm good, Sam. Thanks for asking. Appreciate you guys introducing yourself. It's always great to meet you guys here in the ATS fam, ATS community. I'm, I'm fairly new to the ATS stuff. Uh, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. It's a lot of fun. I never thought I would enjoy uh, this stuff. We've got some big stuff playing with some huge cargo. Mr. Nick T, you guys see him. He's a mod here as well as there's a lot of stuff with me and Raptor. and sets a lot of farm sim streams up with Raptor. Um, and where he's basically on the he's on the block every weekend doing stuff with that crew and he kind of helps out during the week with me so much appreciation to him uh, but uh, he was he put me onto a wonderful overweight pack yesterday that is incredible some of the coolest cargo I've seen carried in this game so that's going to be coming in very shortly and here we are in Tonopah completely reworked area here a new map a new subsection here in the map you can kind of tell that all of a sudden it got green and got really filled out and full uh, let's move into our uh, 
Very cool. Let's take a little detour here through the city. Why not? Didn't really give me much on that one. Oh, barely. We did it. Alonso Gopal. Welcome, 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 guys. All the new guys here. I, that's got to be at least 2298 as we're uh, cruising through Tonopah. This is wonderful. This looks great. You know, even got a trailer park in the middle. Got a nice little, uh, what the heck, man. Missed the gear there. Blew the engine. That's the second engine we've blown. Bear's got that on the repair order. There's Questboard Supporter. Thank you for that subscription. Thank you guys. A crazy amount of support. Goodness gracious. That's just so, uh, this is so, uh, I, I won't say, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Big milestones hit. Uh, so man, it's awesome to see that. Awesome to see numbers go up. New guys coming into the community. Uh, I'm literally smiling from ear to ear. That's just, uh, that is awesome guys. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you guys continue to enjoy the content. If there's ever anything you guys need, um, you know, please let me know. If there's games you see that you think, hey man, have you ever thought about playing this? Um, you know, most of the stuff I hear is by word of, of just mouth and ear and just listen to other guys talk about things they like. So thank you very much, man. Uh, you guys are super, super duper awesome. Uh, two nights ago, Chuck. What's up, Matt? Matt, how are you, bro? Good to see you here. We're back on the 95. Going to Carson City is where our final destination. We've only got a little three-hour trip here, so that is uh, that's going to be uh, going to be nice. So yeah, man, that was uh, yeah two nights ago, Chuck. I believe I'm pretty sure. Back on just time. Well, thanks there, Michael. Appreciate it. And by the way, a special little shout out to uh, to all the mods here. These guys do a superb job. And unfortunately, sometimes the moderators are kind of the hated guys there on YouTube channels, but I really wanted something different for the mods here on, uh, on Full Tilt Gaming, and, and these guys do a great job of just keeping, you know, the guys that don't need to be out here, but they're uh, all super respectful to everybody that comes in, even if they're nasty. Um, so thank you guys for doing what you do, and a uh, big shout out there to all the mods, all the mods, I said the mods, all the mods. They, uh, they do a fantastic job, some of the best in the biz. Um, and I appreciate what you guys do, every single last one of you. I hope I hope that they're not the hated guys here at this channel. They do a great job. Always super, super welcoming. And, uh, and thank you for what you do, guys. All right, let's put her here at seven high. Honk it, honk it. There we go. Oh, I need to put a horn on this thing. That was embarrassing. Uh, what kind of MadMats, what kind of recording software? I'm using Game Show Palmer Moose. Thank you for the sub. 2301. Thank you. That is awesome. Appreciate that. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm, I'm literally smiling from ear to ear, guys. Ear to ear. I'm using the Game Show's recording software. It's a, it's a, it's a one-time fee, but it's a lifetime support, so it's a one-time purchase. You don't have to purchase it again. So that's cool. <laughs> Hashtag buds. Hashtag justice for Benson. He's a mud. And what kind of microphone do I use? Well, right now I'm using the. Um, I don't know if Strikes around. He always gives me a, a big, a big deal about it. But, uh, but anyway, it's a, it's really a PlayStation headset, but it's the one for the VR. Uh, and it just got a. I've got a windscreen on it just to kind of keep the popping and all the other various stuff down. Um, but it's temporary right now, so it's just a headset. I've got the ears and I've got uh, the mic. I'm going to be moving to a desktop styled, um, you know, with it's got on the articulating arm so that I can, uh, you know, get a little bit better mic quality. Once we start going live with uh, some face cams and some wheel cams and uh, like X-Plane, you know, I've got a nice pedestal bay. Y'all hear me talk about it quite often. Um, if you get on Twitter, you can see that's part of my media. Uh, but uh, but I'm going to have a cam on that as well as a cam on things I'm doing uh, on top of the desk as well as what's going on, on the screen. So it's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and really just the whole point with that was to, to, to put some stuff down. And eventually that mic quality is going to get a lot better. So uh, just a matter of time until I get in a more permanent place here in the house. That's really the thing I'm waiting on. So... 
man, I don't know that it'll let me, uh, this guy decided he was going to, sorry if I take the ambulance's front end off. Oh, I made it. Wow. I don't know how I did that. That was good. <laughs> I pat myself on there, uh, pat myself on my own back. <laughs> that was good. If I could stream, for, I don't know if we could stream for 2400. <laughs> that might be a stretch, man. <laughs> Subnautica, I'll check it out. I won't knock until I try it, so I'll uh, I'll look at it and see what it looks like. So here's the road is changing, so I'm imagining we are uh, running out of the main uh, Tonopah rework. So that would be the end of that map, and now we're back into Project West 1.3.2. So this will carry us all the way into Carson City, which by itself is beautiful. Um, looks even better with Project West add-on. Truckman16, what's up man, how you doing? the CAT C15 straight piped in the uh, Kenworth W900 tonight. That's what engine we're sporting tonight. 585 horsepower. Somewhere I think around 1,900 foot-pounds of torque. It doesn't really quite pull the uh, the doubles. It should, but it does not pull the doubles. I think the doubles honestly are a little bit over uh, weighted. Um, so that, that's, the only, that's the only reason I haven't pulled the doubles tonight. But honestly, we can pull the doubles with the newer trucks uh, and the Peterbilt the 389. Uh, so we may we may run the uh, the Peterbilt 389 and do some uh, just some some freight kind of container hauls tomorrow night as well. Uh, I wanted to do more of that tonight, but we we still got some interstate freight here in with the uh, the hunt trucking here from Payne, Ohio skin. Great little skin here. It's a good looking truck. I like it. It's a good looking truck. So where the next truck will be in is going to be a black 379. Uh, it's gonna look like bears with that long extended chow with the day cab on it. So it's gonna be good, man. 2,500 by the end of the week, man. If we do 25 by the end of the week, I'm gonna be happy. Two weeks ago, we were, tw I mean, uh, two days ago, we were at 2,200. Uh, to think that we're popping in at uh, 2,300 two days later is insane. So, uh, many thanks, guys. Many thanks. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Update on time, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to let you live it down now, man. Yeah, mo most most any of the new newer stuff could run VR. I think this game would be awesome in VR. I'm not going to lie, it would be awesome. Is that Cash Cashmere? Cas Cashmere? Yeah, it's got to be what that is. Cashmere Reacts. Thank you for your subscription. If, it is, if that's it, let me know. Give me a give me a thumbs up on the pronunciation there of the name. Pretty sure that's pretty uh, it's pretty close. Pretty close. It's gotta be. I can't wait to see their blue type. So just to let everybody know, part of the 2K goal there. 1K goal was uh, Mr. Mike Triple M. Uh, I used to call him Eminem. He was a really great uh, supporter. I'm, I, I'm gonna send him something tomorrow and just connect back with him. But uh, he had some health issues there for a bit had a lot of just life going on um so i want to try to i want to try to get back up with him and see how he's doing he was going to get an ftg tat uh and then he had uh, had about a stint put in his heart and some other things so i mean that may have put a stop to him being able to get a tattoo just because i'm sure he's on blood thinners and some other things so between that tj gaming beast what is up man thanks for guys we've had about 50 people riding shotgun with me tonight here on ats interstate freight Riding and hunt trucking here. We're actually pulling a oil tanker now. We're actually diesel tanker now. We're going into Carson City. So, welcome to those guys here. If you're a brand new, welcome. But uh, but anyway, Mike Mike uh, was one of our big supporters, and he um, he had a, a stint put in his heart. I believe is what he had was a stint put in, and uh, so he, that probably knocked him out of getting a tat. Uh, and that was our 1K. He wanted to do that, and, and Mr. Blue Type RSX here in the house he's uh wanting to get something set up and got an artist to do a render drawing for him for 2k so unbelievable amounts of support uh so huge huge shout outs to those guys for just doing something special and i think that just goes to show 
uh, how special some of these things can be. And people always say, oh, that's stupid. I can't believe you play video games. And I don't think it's really about the games. And for me, it's never been about the games. I mean, just uh, just for instance, Mr. Nick T uh, and uh, Ryan Schleicher. I met Ryan. He's been a mod, uh, a mod here at the channel from like day one. But he's actually a real life friend of mine. But we met in X Plane. And we talk, we call each other, we text. Same way with Chuck, same way with Michael, uh, and same way with Nick T. All of us kind of, we talk, uh, we've got each other's numbers, we call, we talk about things that are bugging us or what, whatever's going on, just call and catch up. And to me, gaming's always been about that community. If you didn't have that community, the games themselves get boring really fast if you ain't got nobody to play with. So that's really what we wanted to create here with uh, with just FTG and I'm in place for that. that camaraderie and that community to happen and, uh, and take shape so thank you guys for your subscriptions your involvement into this i really want you to plug in get involved um you know get involved here in chat meet some of these guys there's a lot of really good streamers here uh, there's some other guys doing the youtube thing here neb's doing it benson's doing it um you know so y'all you'll see some of my guys in their streams as well and you know, go in stop in say hey you know just plug in that's what you need to do just plug in I tell you, it'll be worth it. Uh, I think, at least, uh, you know, I want to say I like to think it's going to be worth it. So, um, just do that, and I think uh, this will be a very successful community. Don't you anytime, awesome man. TJ Gaming Beast, I'm in North Carolina, right in the dead middle of it. We're in Nevada in the game, but I I'm in. <laughs> yes, I need friends. <laughs> Please stop by. We'll go to Labrador City here in ATS and see Benson and uh, go to the local Walmart. <laughs> Benson's way up there. I won't give you city if he doesn't want to, but he's way up there in Canada. So, so thank you guys for your uh, for your just uh, your friendship. It does mean a lot. It is uh, it is nice to have. So that's just a little bit of what you need. Subscribers and new guys you got to look look forward to here with MTG and Full Tilt Gaming. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> I've been to Idaho, man. Idaho was pretty freaking boring. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what the crap is this? <laughs> we flew, flew into Boise, um, and then we got off the plane and walked like out of the airport doors, and we were just like. Oh my God, where are we? <laughs> it honestly looked like this. I mean, I felt like we were just seeing tumbleweed rolling across the road in the next, the next, the next go around. Uh oh. We got go. Oh well, yeah, this is our our road. So I forgot about this. So we go from single lane to uh, <laughs> to double lane. And I guess that guy's having a little bit of issue. So let's go on around him. That's the only thing. So this is basically where a reworked area uh, gets married back up with Project West. So they missed the intersection. <laughs> it's all good. Well, awesome there, Michael Benson. Glad to have you guys. Awesome here. Up in VA, awesome. Well, Braxton, Baxton Wolf, if you like, uh, 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 if you like Farm Sim 17, we're gonna be right up in that in that neck of the woods. Uh, speaking of which, let me mark this because I want to make sure that I see this and where it at. Um, thank you there, Brady Guest. Thank you for your subscription. So this right here, guys, this awesome area is Yosemite National Park. So let's make it a, uh, so here's where we're going to the BHP bill, Billiton here in Carson City. So we're going to pull up here in Carson City, and I'm going to see if there is a uh, garage. There is not. So uh, I'm pretty sure there's one in Reno, and there is right here. So I'm going to drive on, uh, finish my ride on up to Reno after live stream, and we're going to come back down, and we're going to do Yosemite all the way back into Oakdale. And I'm going to see this because this is part of the new connectors that Project West really gives you. So this is one of the big add-ons is the Yosemite add-on that came in with it a few updates ago. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing that, check that one out. That'll be tomorrow night. I, don't, I definitely want to roll that tomorrow night. It's going to be good. <clears throat> I don't know. We may run 
I've got a 271, I've got a 379, I've got the 389, I'm trying to think what else, I want to say I've got another truck, I've got the 908, you guys have seen that one, that's, a, that's an awesome truck, I love the 908, uh, and I was trying to think what else I had, I'm trying to work on getting my 800 right, I've got a dump truck 800 that I can't seem to get working with some of the other stuff, so, um, got a few, a few kinks to work out with some truck mods, but, oh, I've got the Freightliner, that's what we'll drive tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be in the Freightliner, the 1984 Freightliner XL. We'll support the Freightliner tomorrow night, and I'll put a mod, I'll put a link in the description for the mod place you can grab that from. Absolutely gorgeous truck if you like the old school Freightliners. Uh, so we'll support that tomorrow night, put a nice big old engine in it, and have some fun with that tomorrow. So maybe we'll go see Yosemite in the Freightliner. That'll be good. Well, thank you there, Zach Scott. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad you guys are. Still got a lot of guys watching, so welcome to everybody there that may be new. What's up, Brady? How are you, man? Uh, Mac? Yeah, there is the Mac. I forgot about that. There's also the Cascadia, although I have not downloaded the Cascadia yet um, and put that one in the mix, so I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> uh, if we can add those trucks, I'll certainly drive any of those, especially if they work with the map set that I've got. Like I said, the, the Volvo doesn't work because it's uh, an outside brand. So they make them spawn at the Volvo dealer. So if it's a truck that spawns at the Volvo dealer, I won't be able to use it with Project West uh, and Viva Mexico and, and all this stuff that I have in this particular profile. That's the only catch. Looks like we're going to be going into another refinery. So this is uh, another getting to see that cool. Uh, I guess that's maybe where we're going. Neither that or it's a mine. One of the two. Maybe the mine needs some diesel fuel. <laughs> uh, is that is that for me? Do I play PUBG? No, I hate PUBG. Can't stand it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not afraid to say it either. I can't stand PUBG. It would be fine if it, you could actually do maps and people play different styles where everybody just goes picks up a bunch of crap and then they die. Alright, so let's see. We'll add a little bit of a uh, retard coming down the hill here. I'm going to go ahead and downshift, although I should have done it at the top of the hill. I think Bear said it's a no-no to downshift going down the hill. What are all the games that I play? Well, ETS was, uh, I still actively play ETS, but it just didn't do well as a live stream. More people wanted to see ATS. I didn't really care about uh, ETS, which is fine. Um, but that's one thing that, you know, I saw the viewers were down, the likes weren't up. So yeah, it just told me, hey, the guys just really didn't want to, they didn't want to stream that, uh, they didn't want to watch it. So I'm not. Uh, so x is coming in, and I'll, if you look at the cover photo there with that, that kind of gives you the early synopsis of the games I play. So we've got ATS, ETS I play, but it won't be streaming it. X-Plane is coming in here soon. Get a pair of this book. Very nice. Now oh, it's going actually, yeah, so I'm not going to pull this one in and back it in. So X-Plane, ETS, ATS, uh, Farm Sim are my main ones for right now, and then those can grow and do whatever it is. Uh, whenever I get new stuff, Gold Rush is going to be, I'm going to be doing lots of good series on Gold Rush. So if you haven't ever seen Gold Rush, want to check it out. I've gotten a couple of videos that have done really well on here. Um, so go check those out. Uh, let's see. I don't know that I can get all, I'm not even going to do it. Let's just play it safe because I know uh, somewhere, sometimes being up in here, it's uh, ridiculous, especially with this 900, this long chassis on it. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Uh, I think you're right there, Blue. Um, yeah, I, I hate that I'm not getting to, to showcase that last part because that last part is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. But unfortunately, nobody really wants to see it. So, oops, went a little far. All right, we'll drop her off here. All right. Yes, I'm with you there, Quest Board. <laughs> <clears throat> all right so there's that let's just i just want to see what kind of freight's out there and uh, just kind of show we didn't have the doubles in here but the 900 just did not pick the doubles out very well uh, well obviously we had the heavy haul stuff in here ups and fedex not new gravel trucks sand trucks 
those kind of things. And we had some Schneider trucks in there as well. Um, really just more of the container side of the uh, of stuff. So let's see with Tonopah. Same thing in here, a couple of doubles. And these have a ton of different um, different different stuff you can have on there. We'll just scroll through here and see what I did have. Because I actually had a bunch of cargo that really never showed up in these small places, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we still had a lot of these cool doubles. So we've got like these that have the Boeing uh, logos on them. We've got the Walmart reefers here. Um, there's a lot of really, really good skins on those. There's a Heineken one. Um, and we got some nice flatbeds. I was hoping to maybe get a few of these flatbeds. We've got the Tesla doubles. So we had some really cool cargo mods in here. Unfortunately, they just didn't really show up today. And most of that's because of the, um, the small areas we were in. So I'll, um, I'll see if I can't thin some of that down and get some of these to show up a little more and up their priority level in the listing. Uh, but other than that, we'll still continue with it tomorrow. Interstate freight tomorrow. We'll actually go through Yosemite tomorrow, so be looking forward to that. We'll still start off about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and that'll be the first thing that we take off and do. Um, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll take off and do that first. So be looking on the page tomorrow. Uh, 11 o'clock will be the absolute latest. 10.30 will be the absolute earliest that we'll do. Um, so I'm trying to think. Uh, so let's just say 10.30 and 11 is when I'm going to start tomorrow. Um, and we'll start. Uh, usually got a countdown. So come in and you check. I always will put it up there. So if you see it, come into the page. And you can click on a, load, a notification when I actually go live for that one particular live stream. And that keeps you from having to get bombarded with every single uh, notification here that comes in. In the future, let me go ahead and switch over to my main screen. Let me go ahead and update chat. I see that just went out. So uh, let's do that. I think that I can get it. Or beer, mm, beer, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time is mine. So heavy hauls. So Zach, we have got... A huge pack. I'm not going to spoil it, but we have got a huge oversized loads. We're talking plane engines, plane parts, landing gears, huge locomotives. And this is not like a high powered DLC or like a cheap DLC. Some of this stuff is like 170 some thousand pounds. So that's going to be kind of our finale stream to the interstate freight, which is taking the you know most ungodly amount of weight in the freight that we can take down the interstate. And yes, I literally just freestyled that. So somebody's got to like the video for that freestyle here from the old country boy in North Carolina. So, uh, <laughs> so it's been a good night. Thank you guys. 2305 is what my counter says. Uh, we hit 2300 tonight, which is going to blow some socks off of people, uh, especially my wife when she wakes up and she's going to be like, oh my God, I see her at 2300. I'm like, yeah, man, <laughs> things are going well. So thank you guys. I could not do it without y'all. Uh, it is a crazy amount of support to see you guys come out uh, and ladies, I'm sure, uh, come out, introduce yourselves, plug in to what's going on here uh, in the channel. So I hope you continue to enjoy the content. And like I say, if there's anything you want to see, if there's mods you want to see, if there's uh, certain things that you run across and say, oh man, that'd be cool to see FTG stream that. We'll see what he does. Send it to me. You know, I've got full tilt farming at Gmail is my email for the uh, business side of the YouTube channel. Uh, and then you can tweet me there at full tilt. Find me there on Facebook, full tilt gaming. Uh, and always stop in a live stream and say it or just leave a comment to the video. Uh, some of you guys have commented to some of the videos as well, just uh, in generals. I'll try to get to those and answer a few of those questions if you are happen to watch in this live stream later on. And also, if you want to know how we did the whole mapping, there's Dead Eye Classic. Thank you for your sub, buddy. Appreciate that, man. And if you want to um, look at some of the look at some of the other ones uh, we've got, and we've got a lot of other uh, we've got a lot of other nice little uh, uh, mini series I'll call them. We got Caterpillar Crawl, which was really like the old school stuff. We had the 900, we had the 389. That was a trip from Mexico all the way to Canada. And then we're going to do another one where we go uh, international freight. So we're going to take something over to the East Coast, using coast to coast, and do a Bangor, Maine, all the way down to Key West mini series. So that's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. And also at the end of this week, we're going to be doing a really nice finale to this particular interstate freight with a special cargo surprise that we'll be utilizing to go uh to, to be tooling around here and hopefully maybe kind of set us up for a nice big farm sim stream here coming up this weekend so don't be uh you know come in and say that uh and see what's going on with it even if you've never seen farm sim 
come watch me do farm sim. I, I try to do it a little bit, uh, a little bit more realistic, a little bit, have a little bit more fun with it. Um, and it's just really the same as ATS. We're constantly going, people are coming in, people are chonking. That's what I'm actually known for. I had built a YouTube channel up over, you know, 14 or 1500 subs with just farm sim. So, uh, there's definitely a crowd here that wants to see it. So I'm going to try to my best to deliver that for you guys. Special shout out again to all the mods. You guys are great. Uh, you, uh, you really do your job well. So I'm going to hang around here in the chat for just a little bit. Thank you to all those that have subscribed. Thank you to Goat Guy for throwing a little bit of money into the pot tonight. Much appreciated. As always, Goat, you always uh, come in and support a little bit. Uh, and I would say, guys, support your YouTubers that you enjoy. I mean, if that means support me, so be it. Support your modders. So uh, if these maps and these trucks and all these things that you see – Go give those guys a little bit of money. They do it for free. They do it for your enjoyment. They do it to entertain and also uh, plug in and part of that bigger mass community. So go support those guys as well. Uh, and, uh, and I've actually done that myself. So I can put my money where my mouth is. I've supported uh, BS, BSM, the Black Sheep Mining. I've supported those guys for Farm Sim. I've supported uh, the guys that did uh, the Mexico Map, Viva Mexico, and the guys that did Project West. Uh, I supported all three of those guys. So uh, go do it. I'm living proof that it does, and I'm sure they appreciate it. And it does continually help them come out with great content and keeps a little something going in the tank so they can continue to invest in that channel. So I've got donation there in, uh, in PayPal, in Streamlabs, and Super Chats. So if you don't want to, come on back in, uh, and you can do that next time. That is much appreciated, as always, but never required. Just come on in, plug in, have a great time. So I'll hang around here and chat for a little bit. If you guys want to holler at me, say, hey, uh, we'll uh, roll some uh, cool music here. At least we'll try to. I hope you guys enjoy some of the new music. I certainly enjoy it. It's kind of nice. Uh, but anyway, we're all some new music here, guys, and I guess we will see you here on the next one tomorrow night, uh, somewhere between 10.30 and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check the main YouTube page here, uh, and I'll actually put the um, I'll put it up there so you guys can see when it is. Put your little bell notification on that one particular live stream, and you'll be notified when we do go live, uh, and that will be good, and I hope to see you there tomorrow night, guys. We'll see you. Goodbye.